Robbie Lee. I hate the ALDCLA. I hate dance moms. I want to go home. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel at The Real Addie Lee Miller. And today I have Eliana. My name is Eliana Wamsley. Ah, so Eliana. happy to be here, guys. You are? Really? Of course. No one's forcing you? No. Your mother didn't just drop you off and say, hey. No, not at all. All right. So today we are going to relive some of my favorite moments with Eliana. Really? And give you a little background story. Yes. Oh, okay. So let's start. Let's go. Okay, here's what do we one. have? Eliana's confidence is gone. Confidence. Okay. Am I enough? There's a lesson there. Oh. All right. What did I say? Do you think you're ever going to be enough for your mom? Maddie. Maddie, that's right. What did I say? Wait, what did I say? You, you said, do you know who does, because this was a Rachel Sage song. You go, do you oh. know who does a lot of these Rachel Sage songs? And I was like, Maddie. Okay, so Rachel Sage is a dear friend of mine. Uh, she's an artist and it does some beautiful work, interesting work. Her voice is very unusual and mm -hmm. She does a lot of lyrical stuff and we've used her and she's been kind enough yeah. to give us her music yeah. free of charge, which is a big deal when you're on television yeah. and you're searching for music. Huge deal. Huge deal. So here we go. We didn't have to turn to Jingle Punks. Yes. We were cold Ankle. In the middle of oh, so pretty. Right there. Foot when you roll around. Pretty. It's pretty. Dang. It's a nice costume. She has a really strong solo. She gave her yeah. like the for once, solo. The beautiful. For once. Dance. Yes. Oh, she, look at me. I'm like. This. She really does. She has to bring it. She's got to get that confidence. Oh, that was good. Biggest problem is you do a fan kick right at the beginning. You're going to see a thigh, a butt, and, and a hip. hip. You have to cheat it so that this is your front. Oh, I like those kind of shoes. Yeah, those are cute. Oh, stop. He's killing me. Oh, oh. I was so upset. I was like. <laughs> Wait, well, I wanted you to face it's quarter one. Yeah, I, so I remember, I look at it now and I'm like, oh yeah, I see what you're trying to say. Back then I like didn't understand. And I think I was already mad about something that day. I think like I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. You know, they didn't prepare my waffle right at the double tree. The double tree didn't make my waffle right, so I came in with a bad attitude. And Brat. so when you were like, you Brat. didn't get the fan kick right, I was like, oh, and I was mad. I was like, I hate Abby Lee. I hate the ALDCLA. I hate dance moms. I want to go home. Over a fan kick? Yeah. So, you know, sometimes That's so easy though. Well, I know, but sometimes you just, the littlest thing can just set you off. I mean, you know this? I was no, mad. I would have just faced the corner. It wasn't about I wouldn't have got all that work to about it. I would have just faced the corner. It was about the, the point of the matter. It wasn't about the fan kick. So hear, hear what I say. Okay, but wait, before we do that, I want to tell all of my viewers that when you're teaching solos or when I go on Zoom and I have children taking private lessons from me, and doing solo work, a lot of times it's the angles. Mm -hmm. What their dance teachers gave them is great, it's good, but the angle is bad. And a lot of times yet. your dance teacher looks at the, the dance and sees their pet peeve and they go over and over and over it. And I am fresh eyes and I see something different mm -hmm. and I can fix it and tweak it a little bit. And yeah. trying to change the angle of the Makes pancake sense. turned into a big deal. Big thing, look at this. You got a new cameo request. Oh, honey, don't stop. I'm so defeated. No. To use this. You have to use this. You can't. You can't. It is beautiful. No, she's not. She's not. Here's the thing. You are. See, her mother said, no, she's not being mean. Oh. See, like, it was building up. This morning in the car, you said she's a very good teacher. I know, but I don't think that anymore. Morning. That car was like, yeah, Abby's such a good teacher. Like, she'll just tell me the way it is. And then I go, well, I don't think that anymore. <laughs> I see, I was mad at you. I was like, like, I will say one thing about me is like, I will lay it out there. I will say it real. And I was real. I was like, well, I don't think that You're anymore. You're hurting my feelings. I did not think you were a good teacher. I was mad at you. Did you do you see the rage building up? I'm a good I was teacher. Like, I was like, like, I was so mad. You could, Over you, a fan kick. Yeah, you can you can see the steam see, coming out of my ears. Just like grabbed you and twisted you and said, "Do the dang fan kick, kid." I was already mad at you to begin with over something. I don't know. Maybe maybe you ate my Cheetos that day. Maybe you took the last bag of Cheetos and I was mad at you. Oh, maybe. You need to stop I'm crying. crying. My heart. I know you are. <laughs> Ellie. Oh, Ellie. 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 crying. She's not dancing tomorrow. Oh. Not dancing. Oh, I was so nervous. I can't take the crying. That's spoiled rat behavior. You're nine years old. 
grow up. I love how you you're say- You're nine years old, grow up. I love how you say you're nine years old as if I'm not like a prepubescent child. <laughs> like, the, no, like you're nine years old, you're not five. I know, but I'm still nine years old. That's, I'm not even double digits yet. That's still so young. That comment always gets me because you're like, you're nine years old, grow up. I'm like, yeah, exactly. I'm nine years old. I'm nine, that's like, that's nine years. That's not even a full decade. I, I just laugh at the stuff that I'm saying. Yeah, I, it, it, but it's funny. Like, it makes I just show. said something in some news interview that they aired. And oh. it said that I, do you ever regret what you say to these kids? And you're I like, said, no? Oh, no, I said, yes, I do. I really regret it. Because if they don't have the talent, it wasn't worth it anyway. Oh. I said something like that. Oh, my like, God. And did you get canceled? It's, no. Oh. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's so everywhere. But it's like, I, I was harsh on the kids, but I. Yeah. But if they had the talent, then I wanted them to be the best. If they didn't have the talent, I wasted my breath. It's true. Let's go. I have to breathe her. See, this is the reason why. But I have to agree because that's so why I like her mother. That's why she's sitting here. Why? Because I'm trying to help you. Just keep annoying me. Not really. <gasps> the attitude. Uh, she doesn't. I don't know. When she gets critiques, she takes it really personally. Yeah, and it's almost like she sees it as an insult. I did. That is true. I used to think me getting corrections was like an insult. Yeah. Wait, can I just? So, her? that's a really interesting true, thing that. They said, so when Eliana gets a correction, she takes it personally. Yeah, she like you were doing it to hurt Envelopes me. it and takes it inside and it was to hurt your feelings mm -hmm. instead of just face the other way on the dang fan kid kid. Yeah. And let it go in one ear and out the other. So that's true, You need actually. to be more resilient. That was something when I was younger is always like, I didn't realize that corrections were good whenever I'd get a correction. It was almost like, like It was something bad yeah. that, that we were that on you, that you were getting upset, instead upset, of upset. To help me. So I would get, of, yeah, I would, like I said, I would take it personal. And, you know, that's why I went into the dressing room and started crying because I took it personal that you were like, face the other way for the pancake. Right, but don't you think that that tough love, that giving you those corrections all the time helped you in life later when you were yeah. at Radio City, for example? Uh, no, absolutely. And, and I, you were dancing in front of what, 10, 2,000 people a, 6, a show? 6,000 people a show. 6,000 people a show mm -hmm. she's dancing in front of. They give you a correction, you better take it. Oh, yeah, Not absolutely. the same thing over and over. Yeah. Oh. I'm so I'm sick of you. You are trying you to affect what? me and this my daughter. Go back to Iowa, you know go back what? to your cornfield, go back to where you came from. I'm gonna tell you, good luck picking up. You're gonna have a rude wake up call. Oh, she gave her the finger. It's a rude awakening, actually. Let's go. Here we are. Oh, the top five looks so pretty. Yes, with the hair stuff. I need to see you scare those judges. Understood? Who's that? The ice cream dance. I scream for ice cream. The last time you performed a solo, you Charlie. Step out. It will be enough. <laughs> oh, the little control. broken wrist. Yeah. Oh. Mm, good luck. Like. Oh, the develop. Hey. So pretty. Oh, and the ribs don't go to the side. Yay. <laughs> oh, the foot. I had a habit of that. Nice. Oh, the pretty arabesque. Like this, this was a good, solid solo. Did I get the high clap? Yes. Do I get a high clap? Hey, we're up here. Yes. I got the high clap, y'all. Come on. I did it mess up. I, did it mess up. <laughs> I was That's so- That's how you're supposed to come off stage. I did mess up, guys. Oh, is this a different thing? Oh, no, it's her. She's gotta be Maybe skip through hers. Who won? I'm just trying to go to awards. Yeah, we don't We don't care. We don't need to see the ice cream solo. No, we don't. Okay, awards. <gasps> what is with that thing in her head? They're not getting another chance to compete before nationals. This is it. This is what I have to base uh -oh. nationals on. <gasps> in fifth place. We actually have a tie. When he said oh, that, I knew. That's. Yes. Between entry number 30 and my. Ready, look at my face. Wait, I was so mad. You, the two of you tied for fifth? Fifth. Okay, but this was fifth overall. We got second in our division. The fifth overall.
Look at my face. What Look at how mad I am. What kind of competition was that? That was fierce. I told you, I've never won it fierce. Fierce. Did always... we all win? Did somebody from our studio win? Yeah, the the ba remember the beautiful ballet number. So I don't know if you remember this week. You wanted me in the ballet number. Remember the beautiful, the red bow. With the yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. But instead. I got a solo, but I remember I was like, oh, I would have much rather have been in the ballet piece with like the junior elites than had a solo. So I remember I heard. Was it me? Pieces. Probably. Yeah. Because it's a wasn't beautiful me. ballet. It wasn't me. Beautiful ballet number. Instead, I got a solo. But yeah, fifth overall. How I'm could telling you, you how fierce could those national legs and feet be? Is that even a competition anymore? I don't know. Okay. Fierce national I'm dance competition. Mad. They, they, no, I don't care. No one goes. They okay. had it out for me. I'm telling you, y'all had it out for me. Y'all had something against me because I never won. Never. Like, what was up with that? I was mad. I was like, uh-uh. I should have won. Were the two of you tying? Fifth? Look at Murphy. That is absolutely unacceptable. Unacceptable. Oh. Wow. Absolutely wow. unacceptable. Also, side note, how did this not get copyrighted from Game of Thrones? Is that literally not Game of Thrones? That, that's what they wanted to do. It's it's a sad story. I wasn't there. That's a body double, and then I oh no, I remember the next day and popped in. Yeah, no, oh, I remember. I remember that. the whole thing. Yeah, I was like, remember look at look at kid? they put Gianna I, in the back. Well, they had to because it was off. And mm -hmm. you remember that whole incident? Putting Gianna in the back was crazy. Well, like that she was in there. I thought that was, it was so funny. The whole you know we didn't have clothes. One kid had a justice sweatshirt on, but that's that's <laughs> beside the point. Okay, so crazy. let's not talk about any more dance stuff. Okay. All right. Sounds I don't want to watch this anymore. I know. We're just increasing their you know, yeah. bottom number. So, Eliana, we're gonna talk about something very personal. Mm-hmm. The cup down. We're Sorry. gonna talk, Eliana, we're gonna talk about something very personal. So, all of you listeners, viewers, all the kids out there, uh, when I was on my staycation, when I was away, one kid came to visit me, and it was this kid right here. I was the only girl that came to visit. Because I wanted to see you. I missed you. And Diana brought you. Yeah. And when you Drove go all to, the way out there. Right. Like when you go to visit time. somebody in a uh, camp, mm -hmm. it was the government camp, you have to do all these background checks and you have to yeah. submit your driver's license or your passport and all this stuff. It takes months to get approved to visit, but not children. Under 17 you're welcome to come to visiting day. Mm -hmm. So my friend Diana, hair makeup artist, hairdresser costume, yeah. special effects person on Dance Moms was coming to visit me and brought Eliana with her. Yeah. Your mom wasn't even there. No, So just she me. came in and you want to talk about that a little bit? Because yeah. to me it was amazing when I walked out and you were there. Oh yeah, because you didn't know. No. So it was really, I remember when I was a little nervous because I didn't know if I wanted a child oh. to see that environment. Right. But then once but you know me. I saw you, you. It was fun. Yeah. But you also know me out of all the girls. I've had the most experience with like things like that with like my family and stuff. So like, I already had been used to that. So like, I probably like out of all the girls like know the most about kind of that stuff and that okay. environment. So that's why I was completely fine. I just felt. I remember feeling really sad for you. I remember. Um, actually, the one time you could get like snacks and stuff was when guests came. So Dee just said, "Go get one of everything from the from the vending machine." So I went and I literally got one of everything from the vending machine for you. And I remember I laid it all out on the table and you came out. And I remember you were so like excited. Like to actually talking about this right now brings back a lot of memories. But I was so happy to be there. Like I was excited. I remember Dee asking me like, "Are you nervous or anything?" I was like, "No." I was actually so excited to be there. And we just sat there and I remember we just like talked for a few hours. And it was, it was fun to just catch up and... And eat the snacks. Yes. Because that's when you get the snacks. And the only thing you're allowed to bring with you to visiting day is a bag of quarters. Mm -hmm. you, you can bring yeah. a bag of quarters to, to go the to the vending machine. machines. And yeah. that's what we did. We got you Cokes, powdered donuts, chips, all of the above. And then I remember, you know, you had a, did you, you had like a few friends in there, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, I have friends that I'm still <laughs> friends with. Hi, Michelle. Shout out. Oh, so I remember you wanted me to do a to dance Michelle's. for everyone. So you made, you kind of like had me go and move a few of the tables and you had me do a dance in front of everyone in the cafeteria. <laughs> I That's what I was visiting so was, it was like in the big cafeteria. Mm -hmm. and I was so embarrassed. But why? Because I, I, I was nervous. I was like, oh my God, there's so many people. There were a lot of people there. And they loved you. 
They did, but I was scared because I was like, also like, this is the first time you've seen me dance in a while. Like, oh, that kind of scared. I thought you meant like the security guards were gonna come and stop it. No, like that kind of scared. I was nervous because there were so many people. I was like, what if I don't do good? Well, I remember I like, I think I did like one of my solos. I did a few tricks and it was fun. Like I had a good time. I just felt really sad seeing you in there. I know there's like, it was what just kind I look of like. like I'm trying to remember. Like I don't think they let. I didn't look did they good let in my you green wear? Outfit? Was it a green outfit? Yes. I don't know. Did they like green let you wear any makeup shit. or anything? Well, I did. I used colored pencils. What? Colored pencils. I would wet them and do red on my lips, and then I would do uh, brown liner and eyebrows. Oh my god! So what? Oh, <laughs> so you were let have colored pencils? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So I just remember it just felt very like. Strange. I'm trying to, I don't want to say like barbaric, that's kind of like the wrong word, but it just felt weird seeing you in there because I'd never seen you obviously in an environment like that. I had always just seen you as like this idol, like, you know, in the dance studio, as like the, you know, the dance teacher, not really as like someone that, like how low it was because I just know it was just so sad for you. I mean, I remember on the show, like you talking about it and how scared you were. And even though I was like nine years old, I still understood that pain and that like frightfulness that you had in you. And it was, you know, pretty easy to kind of convey that. So I know. Oh, I'm so no. I'm so sorry. Well, you made it out. Yeah, you did. Then, you get out early on good behavior, right? Yeah. And then Cause I, you were good. You were yeah, good in there. Yeah, but then I, you know, one week after I got out, it was cancer choking my spinal cord. So didn't you say that while you were there? You were saying you were complaining about a pain, yeah. and they kind of I, just blew it off. Oh yeah, they took me off my medication early. It's a whole thing. But I would go into the hair salon because mm -hmm. we had a hair salon in the. Frozen cam, crazy. <laughs> and uh, I would take the hair dryer and I would blow it up my nightshirt uh -huh. and blow it down the back. I was, I was freezing, like chilled to the bone. And oh. that's a big sign of there's something wrong with your thyroid. Oh. But I didn't know that at the time. I mean, you can't Google things, you don't have a phone. No. So uh, yeah, I used to do that like in the middle of the night, I'd get up and be, cause I was chilled mm -hmm. to the bone. And it didn't oh. matter how many blankets or what you had, it just didn't do anything. So that was scary. Okay, so let's jump ahead now. Yeah. I'm in. The hospital. Yeah. And I come to visit again. Hooked up with wires. That was also really, I remember walking in for the first time. That was, that gave me like the chills walking in. Cause again, it was like an environment I never thought I would ever see you in. It, that's that was scary, really that's scary. a scary sight. But you. That's probably more scary for me to be honest. Cause generally you were still like yourself. Yeah. But like in. Walking chill, sorry. and moving instead yeah. of laying there. But yeah, yeah, and then you know, you had your little cap on. So that was just really, it was different to see. I had no, like, a, like a hat, like a beanie. Mm -hmm. I remember it, actually now I came twice. You did? Because I came once by myself and then I came once with Macy. Right. Mm -hmm. and so I actually came twice. I would have never done this. My parents would never have allowed this or I just wouldn't think of it. But Eliana was so kind and loving and comfortable in mm -hmm. that atmosphere. You made yourself be comfortable. Yeah. And you climbed up in the bed with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we worked on our feet. We did. And we stretched our feet. And I was showing you how flexible I was. Yes, I remember Yes, because it was like bizarre. All of a sudden, I could like reach over and like grab my yes, ankles. Yes, there was literally a photo on my Instagram of you stretching my feet. Yes. I so, was like, this is we'll, so funny. We'll show this is what we're doing photos. with our time. Yes. You literally were stretching my feet. Yeah, I know. I just, again, it was just so different. I was just like, wow. I remember it was really sad just because like, I hope that you like beat it. But you did. I beat it. Come on. I beat it. I beat That's it. pretty cool to say you're a, a long cancer journey. survivor. Long journey. That's a yes. big flex. Yes. 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 Yeah. And now we just need to get you walking again. But you're yes. close. Well, I do walk. I yeah. walk. It's just a struggle. And if you don't do it every day and if you don't practice, just like you're dancing, mm -hmm. I always say, Eliana, if I had a coach like me, I would be walking. Oh. Right? Yeah, absolutely. We need to find you. Maybe it'll be me. Ma Stay hard on you. Maybe. Just walk. Maybe. Just get up and go. That's right. If we could have a physical therapist that. on standby <laughs> and you, that would be great. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for, am I, did I do enough? Did we do enough? You did 22 minutes coach. Is that? Okay. All right. Listen, thank you, sweetheart, thank for being here. It's great to see you again. And uh, everybody that's watching, thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and all that jazz. See you next time at The Real Abby Lee Miller.